Okay, so it's the time to change the disc, disc brake. I will show you how it's done. So these are the pads and uh, that's the disc brake. This is the old one. You can see it's gone. See this indent and these wavy pattern. That's the new one. You can see it's completely new. The surface is straight from here to here. That's that's inner disc is for uh, ABS. And now he's putting a glue. Nathan is putting a glue for on the screws, which will go inside the disc uh, somewhere over here and see how dirty it is. And uh, uh, that's uh, Yamaha NMAX 125. The tire is new. And uh, see how much it has <laughs> like scratched i don't know how to say it like worn off will it be the correct term because you can see th there are some holes inside it and uh, and this is after uh, almost 75000 kilometers and uh, uh, today i will be changing the disc brakes from uh, for uh, disc brake like the disc the disc pads uh, for uh, back and for the front and uh, you can see the situation is very bad for the I will flip the camera and show you so these are the disc pads all the leather is gone it's just uh, the uh, metal I guess which is left see this is what a disc damage disc do to your brake pad and uh, we will clean this because this is uh, uh, for the good health of uh, the brake pads and uh, this is the silencer this is the silencer for a big motor uh, this is a bmw and uh, it's also getting repaired i don't know what's going on so this is my beautiful beauty and uh, that's the work which needs to be done. And now Nathan is going to blow some air out of the car. It's very loud. See how many scooters they have. So many NMAX, one like mine. This is also a blue NMAX like mine. Same color. This is also another same color one. But this is a different one. One of my friend has the same color. This is glossy. That one is uh, matte finish. And there are a lot of uh, Honda PCX. 125, 125, 125. That is, uh, I don't know what kind of scooter this is. That's a Honda, so you can see it's a Honda. And uh, this one is uh, also PCX. See how bad it is. The uh, I suspect this uh, got into a head-on collision or maybe hit it from the back because all the metal is even mingled. So see, most of them are PCX, 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 one to five. PCX. This is uh, Pidget. Okay, this this one is uh, Pidget. One to five I. It's very rare to spot a Pidget, and uh, mostly it's the Yamaha or uh, Honda, which are popular among uh, the delivery drivers. So, I have a Yamaha one to five. Recently installed the new tire. Uh, in see how beautiful it is it's a uh, uh, Michelin city grip 2 and uh, oh, this one has already done almost around uh, I don't know maybe around uh, oh where is the button 76,000 yeah 76391 
and I will show you the boot space. It's a lot of uh, stuff because today it's getting repaired. So yeah, a lot of junk. And just to give you an idea, it can uh, store uh, a good amount of uh, uh, stuff. I don't know how much the, uh, the liter space is. There, there is no specification over here. But you can easily put a uh, Axel helmet. I will try to put an Axel helmet and uh, show you. Because my helmet is over here. So, I will try to put the helmet and uh, show you. So you can either put it this way. I have a uh, engine oil bottle inside uh, the. So you can easily put a uh, like full size helmet inside this, and uh, from upside it looks like this. There is no place to hold anything else, any documents. So the battery compartment is over here somewhere, and uh, yeah. So. One of the uh, viewer yesterday commented from Australia that uh, I should show the boot space, boot space or the storage space of Yamaha Anmax. So I was like, I'm live. So why not show it right now? And uh, this is my friend Hugo from uh, Brazil. B big mafia, big mafia. <laughs> yeah, from... Uh, Bahia. Bahia, Bahia. Bahia, the best city in uh, uh, Brazil. Muito peaceful. Muito peaceful. Uh, respect. Sim, sim, Bahia. Sim, sim. So, he's, yeah. so, so he's from Bahia. And um, let me show you again the motto. I can see there is one viewer. I don't know who that person is. Uh, if you can comment, it will be nice if you can post a comment. So just to give you an overview again, I'm changing the disc brake, disc pads of my moto, front and back. Okay. So these are the new disc disc pads. That's an old disc brake. The where is that thing? Yeah, so these are the old worn one. They are already gone. Nothing is left in that. So, yeah, it's pretty bad in situation. So this one is new. You can see the surface is completely equal. But here, from here, see there's a dent. So this is after 75,000 kilometers. This is what happens to the disc brake after 75,000 kilometers. It looks like a chakra of uh, uh, Lord Krishna. <laughs> so that's the situation. I will keep this disc break and I will make a souvenir out of it. Uh, and uh, I have the other one as well because uh, just few months ago I changed the front uh, disc break as well. You can see the, the front one. It's it's little bit worn on, worn off. So it was earlier like this surface, now it's a little gone. Just in one month, I can already feel the wavy pattern. But I drive in the hilly areas, so uh, I use the disc brake a lot. And uh, the, because the situation in the hills is very unpredictable and you have to be very watchful. Otherwise, I have seen a lot of people getting uh, into trouble like they slip a lot there are small small stones on the streets so i will give you an overview of the street how they look like so i once slipped on the rocks rocks like this so these ones i don't know what kind of rock they are but when it rains they are the most dangerous thing which you can drive on i'm not a big fan of these rocks as well but they are like rock basalt and uh, they are a little uh, different from these ones so when you it's raining and uh, you are getting on to the um, uh, different surface from like from transitioning from this to this you risk getting slipped so this is the 
shop Porto Motors and uh, oh my hands are very dirty because I touched the disc brake it's full of gunk so if you want to uh, do any kind of repair in Odi Valles in Lisbon the guys speak English so you can come over here you can either talk to Hugo or Nathan and uh, the service center is just awesome the environment is awesome you can listen to beautiful music and uh, you can also drink a, a coffee if you want or uh, um, have a good conversation okay now it's uh, 10 minutes I will just uh, uh, I don't know how I am going to close this uh, video but whatever <laughs> this is first time I'm going live I've been live okay so now it's the time to go uh, offline okay bye